Greetings Otakus, this is A.W. Brawler for eStrange.Matrix and this is not a micro rant. Instead, this is more or less a response to a video that's become very famous on the Miiverse uh, by Shokyo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, basically, it was a video saying that I'm uh, trying to rally our Nintendo fans together and criticizing the Wii U and Nintendo's recent decisions. Now, before I even hop into this video, Let's get one thing straight. I'm not one of those fools who's going to sit there and say that he's not a Nintendo fan because he's criticizing the company. Because, first of all, I'm a fan of Nintendo. And I can tell anyone they're far from perfect and they have made some stupid mistakes that I don't know what the heck they were thinking with some of the stuff they've done before. So, that's not the case. And for the most part, the first half of the video, I completely agree with the things about the operating system. Uh, like how the 3DS can hop into a can hop into a game that has a join game option the Wii U does not uh, the voice chat thing you know uh, virtual console taking forever to get everything going like I could agree with those points but the thing I can't agree on is the third party argument because to me that's just a bunch of bull I mean multiplats have never helped any Nintendo console sale period. I take that back. There's probably one time with the Super Nintendo where they had the better version of Street Fighter because back in the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis days you had two different versions of the same game but other than that multiplats have never helped a Nintendo console sell period. You know what does sell? Exclusives. The Wii U needs exclusives. That doesn't necessarily mean first party exclusives but it just need you know it needs exclusives, be it third party exclusives, second party with a developer that they're uh, real close with, whatever it is, they need exclusives. Because at the end of the day, exclusives sell consoles. Even if it's just by a little bit, they sell consoles. Uh, Wonderful 101 comes to mind. Sure, it didn't sell as much as we wanted it to. It didn't boost, uh, boost uh, Wii U sales as much as we expected. But it did cause a little minor boost. Pikmin 3 caused a nice little boost. And again, no one was expecting that to save the Wii U, as people are saying. But it did cause a nice boost in Wii U sales. Reason being, which is obvious, when a game is exclusive, you have to buy that console to play that game. So exclusives are way more important to the Wii U than multiplats. You know what's going to sell the Wii U? Uh, Smash Bros. because it's exclusive. Mario Kart because it's exclusive. Hyrule Warriors because it's exclusive. X because it's exclusive. Fire Emblem X uh, Cross Shin Megami Tensei because it's exclusive. Bayonetta 2 because it's exclusive. Games like that will sell the Wii U. Because you can't get them anywhere else. And if you decide I want this game you got to just bite the bullet and get the console even if you hate it. Or you have to find a friend who has it and play it over his house. Exclusives are what sells the console. And then let's be honest. Third parties are never, never going to do right by Nintendo. I don't know what happened. Uh, like I, I followed a little bit of the history. But at some point around the GameCube in Nintendo 64 era, they had a falling out. I guess it's because Nintendo was being stubborn. And again, another stupid decision chose not to go with CDs and went with cartridges instead and so they had a falling out with a lot of the third parties uh, over that but I will say this the more Western developers are having problems with Nintendo the Japanese developers don't seem to have as much uh, problems with them like Square Enix even when the Wii was getting ignored Square Enix actually made Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers uh, which was one of my favorite Wii games because I always like the spin-off versions of Final Fantasy more than the main series. And I, you know, I could tell they put some thought and effort into that. So, and then they also gave them Dragon Quest X, which still hasn't come over here. So Japanese developers don't seem to be having as much of an issue with Nintendo as American and other English-speaking countries uh, have with them, like um, EA. I, they, <laughs> EA and Nintendo, they've always been at each other's throat. I don't know what's going on with Ubisoft right now and the Watch Dogs thing. Um, 
I'm not sure what happened with that Aliens game, but I knew that was going to suck. I wasn't even looking forward to Colonial Marines coming out. But third parties are just not going to do right by the Wii U anyway. They're going to just dink around and give some sorry halfway port that no one really cares about. Then get mad and complain when it doesn't sell. Really? You're going to just half do it and get mad and complain like a pansy when it doesn't sell? See, that's that's why exclusives sell. It's not just because it's exclusive. It's like when they make a game exclusive, they know they're making a Wii U game. And they think about the features of the Wii U and they utilize that. Uh, again, I hate to use Ubisoft as an example because I'm personally boycotting the heck out of them until they announce that Watch Dogs is coming to Wii U or something. But um, Zombie U uses a lot of the Wii U features in a good way. That's what you do with the exclusive. You can tell they put effort and thought into that. Even though, you know, you also could tell there was an early game. It was a launch title that may have been rushed a little. But you could tell they put thought into that more than just ports that they just sling out and just put a map on a Wii U gamepad screen. I mean, the gamepad... Am I the only one that can just think of lots of crazy, unique, awesome ideas of things you can do with the gamepad? I'm surprised developers aren't just jumping all over that and creating new games. That's why I'm, I'm kind of excited and ready to see what Nintendo is going to do with E3. Is they said they're going to focus more on the gamepad and its features. So I'm like, yes, finally, maybe someone will finally start using some of these features. Instead, the average... The average third party, or the average American third party, or English speaking third party company, they see the gamepad and they think, hmm, off screen play, map. That's it. Is that the best they can think up, really? I. So, yeah, they're not going to do right by the Wii U. So, expecting multiplats to be good and have all the content, they're not going to do that. If you want Wii U to succeed, you should not be telling people to you know, support these sorry half-baked multi-plats and support these sorry third parties that don't really care about it. If anything, we should be demanding more exclusives. We should be supporting the exclusive games. We should be supporting the games that actually make use of the Wii U. We should be supporting the games that actually utilize the features of the Wii U and what makes it what it is. To do anything else, we'd just be crazy and wishing death on the Wii U because if they try to go with basically if they try to go with what you were saying about the multiplats, what will end up happening is they'll end up having they'll end up having a Nintendo version of the Xbox. You will have all those multiplats and then you'll have the Nintendo games on the side. But at the end of the day, who's really going to buy that console that's basically just an Xbox with Mario Zelda Metroid other than Nintendo fans and you you know you won't pull in the right crowd that 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 would be deaf more than anything if you don't believe me take a look at one of my favorite Nintendo consoles look at the GameCube what happened there that's all I have to say on that topic until next time this is AW Brawler saying be you be true be human AW Brawler out